We'll now move to end of 2019 sitting statements, and I'll call Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I think 2019 has been a big year. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been a big couple of weeks. Uh, I think all of us uh, in this chamber, uh, from right across the chamber, are looking forward uh, to a good and uh, well-earned break. Uh, I haven't uh, prepared any uh, particular remarks, but uh, this is always a good time to reflect on the year that has been and to say thank you uh, to all the very uh, many people who uh, support and sustain us uh, in this job. So uh, on behalf of uh, the government, I would like uh, to thank uh, the clerks and clerk assistants and uh, you know, all of their teams and uh, indeed the attendants in the chamber, the Hansard staff, uh, Comcast, security, cleaners, all of the people that make uh, this place uh, tick all year round and help us uh, do the job uh, that we uh, do on behalf of the Australian people. Uh, but I would um, also, of course, like to thank all of our staff right across the chamber. I mean, we uh, are only able to do what we do because of the hard work of our staff. And uh, you know, this is uh, not always a very family-friendly uh, business. And I think that everyone around the chamber knows that only too well. Uh, and our staff very much share uh, Though that particular burden uh, with us all year round. So to all of our staff, uh, for all of us all around the chamber, thank you very much to uh, what you do to support us. And which sort of, I guess, gets me to the, the broader point. Um, a particular thank you on behalf of all of us uh, to uh, our families uh, who, uh, you know, this, this is, we, we live in a big continent. Uh, Australia is a big country and, um, you know, whether we come uh, from North Queensland, from Adelaide, from Perth, Western Australia, from Victoria even, uh, or, you know, which is a bit closer. Wherever we come, I mean, we do spend a lot of time away from our families and, uh, you know, our families are a very, very uh, important support to us. Perhaps, perhaps uh, Senator, Senator Gallagher doesn't quite have those same challenges. <laughs> I say that with, you know, great generosity. <laughs> Seven minutes it takes her to get to work. But look, I mean, it, 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 has, been a, it has been a big, uh, big year. And like every year, uh, there have been mothers that we've agreed on, there have been mothers that we've disagreed on, there have been mothers uh, that we've disagreed on uh, quietly, and then there have been mothers that we have disagreed on uh, you know, quite um, robustly. And uh, you know, this is a chamber where uh, we resolve the diversity of views uh, around Australia in a democratic fashion. And um, let me say uh, that uh, I have very much appreciated uh, the way all uh, in this chamber have engaged with us uh, over the last year. Uh, perhaps at the beginning of this year, not everyone would have expected that I would still be making this speech from this uh, particular location. But uh, you know, obviously, uh, obviously, we are very grateful to the Australian people that they have given us the opportunity to continue to serve them uh, in this capacity, and we'll continue to do the best we can uh, to uh, deliver, to, to keep faith. Um, to deliver on the faith that they've uh, put in us to continue to serve in, in, in this role. I would like to say a, a particular a thank you uh, to uh, my good friend and valued colleague, uh, Penny Wong. I mean, you know, uh, I, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to not go so fast to get Penny into trouble. <laughs> But uh, let, let me, I mean, I think, I think Penny and I were known to uh, engage uh, robustly when appropriate in the uh, battle of ideas and in the political battle. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, uh, I've always very much appreciated the friendship and, and the professionalism and, and, quite frankly, the really trusting uh, relationship that we've been able to build, which does help to facilitate, uh, you know, the um, managed conflict on occasions uh, that is required in this chamber, uh, managed conflict in this chamber. Because, I mean, in, in, in the end, uh, we do have to facilitate uh, the resolution of sometimes uh, you know, difficult issues uh, to resolve, and, and it does involve a lot of logistics along the way. And, and let me say um, that in this year in particular, I mean, I've, I've, I've had the privilege of working closely with Penny for many years now, um, but uh, Kaidi, uh, it's, back. it's good to have you back. If I may be so informal, Mr. President, it's good to have you back, uh, and uh, you've picked up where you left off, uh, left off, and uh, it's been really good working with you uh, in this capacity as manager of opposition business. I should say a very big thank you to my own team, uh, in particular uh, my leadership team uh, in um, Simon Birmingham uh, as deputy leader and um, Anne Rustin as the manager of government business, who have had a great and stellar start uh, in, in this job since the election. Uh, I think we've had some great. Uh, contested successes uh, over this um, last couple of months, 
Uh, but, and of course, uh, Dean uh, Smith as our chief whip, uh, together uh, with uh, his uh, team of uh, whips uh, in Slide Brockman and uh, James McGrath uh, have done an outstanding job for us. And a real sincere thank you to our friends in the National Party. The, the Deputy Leader of the National Party, the Deputy Leader of the National Party, uh, Senator McKenzie, and of course the Leader of the National Party in the Senate. Um, you know, the uh, Liberal National Parties uh, are a proven, a strong and united coalition. And uh, you know, we have uh, delivered for the Australian people in 2019, and I look forward to the work that we will do together uh, next year. To all of my colleagues all around the chamber, Liberal National Senators, uh, Libor Greens, uh, the crossbenchers, uh, thank you so much to Senator Patrick, who has also put a lot of effort into finding ways to get consensus uh, with us uh, over, over the last few months and, and before. To all of the crossbenchers, the Greens, uh, you know, we, uh, you know, I, I wish you very sincerely a, a good break, a, a good um, rest with your families, uh, and you know, we look forward to doing it all again when we return from uh, holiday uh, back to boarding school early next year. Senator Wong. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, President, uh, I, I uh, arise to respond to my friend and colleague, Senator Cormann, and uh, start by beginning um, with the observation that obviously we did hope that we might be giving these speeches from the other side of the chamber. And at the end of 2019, we reflect on the way things are somewhat different. Um, uh, we've said, uh, this has been a, a long year and a, a, a challenging year, uh, and I just want to place on record a few thanks to uh, people in this place and also beyond. I'll start with you, Mr President. I've appreciated the opportunity to work with you again this year. Um, you are a man who combines discipline with a humorous touch, which often is the most effective way. So I thank you on behalf of the Labor Party in the Senate for uh, the uh, approach to, to, to the job you have. Um, and we respect you and we are pleased to work with you. I thank also the Deputy President, Senator Lyons, although she's wearing something that makes it hard to talk about her seriously. I was going to say she brings the diligence and thoughtfulness to her job, but <laughs> perhaps not. She, does, she is uh, uh, fair and even-handed. She's uh, diligent, uh, and I do want to place on record my thanks for her work, not only as Deputy President, but the ex officio roles as a result she has as Chair of Procedure on the Appropriations Committee. Um, to Senator Cormann, this is what my staff wrote for me. Senator Cormann and I may not have political principles in common, but we do share a hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of sacking that staff member, because I don't think that's true. And the next slide is, although I'm pleased to say his has gone a little greyer than mine over the last couple of years, I don't think that's true either, but it's very kind. <laughs> anyway. Um, I, 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 <laughs> anyway, it's, 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 <laughs> I read that, I just started laughing, you know, I'm tired, and I, I thought, how am I going to actually say that? Um, I also, uh, I, I do want to reflect to the Chamber, um, I, I regard him as a, a friend uh, and someone whom I trust. Um, I am grateful not only for his decency, but also that we can have a, a ding dong battle in here, but we leave it uh, aside at the doors. So I, I appreciate that, and I wish him and, and Haley all the very best for Christmas. I also acknowledge Simon Birmingham. Uh, we should we do a lot of early morning fights together, so uh, and Chinese lessons with us with our with our children. So we see each other a lot. Can I thank um, uh, the deputy leader of the opposition Senate, in the Senate, Senator Keely, Keneally? I'm very grateful to her. She's a source of great energy and enthusiasm. Uh, and she takes up the fight in her portfolios, um, and uh, uh, she's a, a fantastic uh, person to stand alongside. Um, we are very lucky in the opposition to have Katie back. Yeah. <coughs> Katie's one of my closest friends, full stop, not just in the parliament. She's talented, honourable, incredibly mischievous behind the smile. <laughs> Uh, she, uh, it's a good thing she trusts me because you wouldn't want to see the WhatsApp messages. <laughs> Behind the smile, she's, she's tough uh, and courageous, uh, and I, I'm very grateful to her for all that she does for, for us and the team. Um, and I also acknowledge um, Don, Don Farrell, uh, a man of a great conviction and purpose, someone who is <laughs> dedicated to South Australia and whose counsel and wisdom I, I do appreciate. Um, thank you to all our, our whips led by Senator Urquhart and obviously Senator Ciccone and Senator McCarthy. I want to acknowledge also Senator Ketter, who wasn't returned, uh, who did a great job earlier in the year. Uh, we're, we're fortunate to um, have such a great team working with us. Uh, <laughs> I hope that you know, 
they get a, there's some different Christmas bells to the ones they're used to listening to in the, week, in the weeks ahead. Can I say something to my Senate team? Um, I really, uh, you've put in an extraordinary effort, uh, and it was tough to come back in May, uh, but this team um, with me on this side have united, uh, work, come together and work with focus and discipline, uh, and continue to advance Labor's agenda, seek to hold the government to account. Uh, I hope that all of you have a, a great break and spend time with friends and family uh, in, in the weeks ahead. Um, I also extend my Christmas greetings to all of those senators across the chamber. Um, uh, we, you know, this is a contest of ideas. It's a, um, a political contest that can get very willing at times. Senator Rennick, it's great to have you here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I. I <laughs> um, but uh, I, I'd simply make two points. The first is that um, whatever our differences, I do believe we, we are all here because we want to do the best for our country. Uh, and that is a, a high purpose to share. Uh, and the second is that you know, there are no, nothing in life is more important than the people we love, and I hope all of you have time uh, in the weeks ahead to spend with them. Uh, brief comment, um, a brief thanks also to uh, the Senate staff, to, to Richard Pye, to Maureen Weeks, um, Tim Bryant, Rachel Callan and Jackie Morris, the, the usher, all the staff of the Department of the Senate. I say this every year and I mean it. You serve our democracy and you serve it so well, and this institution is so critical uh, to our democracy, and without you it would not function. Thank you to John Brown and the team. Yeah. They always bring me water. I'm always thirsty because I've always been running around. Good on you, mate. Thank you. Much appreciated to all of you and to all uh, committee staff as well. To DPS, thank you for your work. Particular mention to the cleaners, hardworking people coming to this morning, building early. Keep our offices clean, our facilities clean. Thank you for the work you do. You're always friendly and cheerful, and, and we're very grateful for, for the work you do. To Comcard drivers uh, and others, and the staff of the Department of Finance, to the parliamentary security team, uh, AFP members, uh, whose vigilance is friendly and helpful. Enjoy the festive season with your family and friends as well. Uh, I want to make mention of all of our staff. I always say our staff make us better than we are. Certainly true for me. Uh, my staff make me better than I am. So, to all staff of Labor senators, I uh, hope you probably aren't listening. But if you are, <laughs> if you are, uh, um, on behalf of uh, all of your um, um, uh, senators, thank you for the work you do. Um, we would not be able to do the jobs we do and are asked to do um, uh, without you. Finally, to the Labor family more broadly, Labor members and supporters, you know, we had a tough May. That's, we know that, uh, but you know we're still in the fight. We're still in the fight, and the reason we are is ultimately we understand it's not about us. It's about the people we represent. Merry Christmas to you all. I'll go Senator Mackenzie, then Senator Di Natale. Oh. Merry Christmas, Richard. Senator Di Natale. I'm sorry. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, Look, I'll, I'll be very brief. Um, it has been an incredible year, a tough year. Um, I feel like I'm personally limping towards the finish line, both literally and metaphorically. Uh, I want to thank, most importantly, all the people who make the building tick. And they've all been mentioned, but we can't mention them enough. The cleaners, the security staff, the catering staff, the maintenance staff, the gardeners who make this place look incredible, uh, DPS staff who have helped us with all sorts of odd jobs. And thank you for the loan of the uh, electric uh, buggy. Uh, the committee staff, the procedures and drafting teams, we've pushed you hard and I want to thank you so much for what you've uh, done for us. Um, uh, the Parliamentary Budget Office, who in a difficult year were pushed hard, their analysis and professionalism was greatly welcome and I think we've raised the standard of debate in this country. The Comcar drivers, I've, uh, some of them are of a certain age and it's been good to get some advice on uh, uh, what to do with my uh, knee replacement, many of them having gone through that <laughs> themselves. Um, obviously, to, uh, to the President of the Senate, Senator, uh, Senator Cormann and Senator Wong, um, to both sides of the chamber. Um, it's good to see some new faces, particularly in the Liberal Party, uh, not the least of which uh, because of some of the people they've actually replaced. Um, I want to thank uh, all MPs' staff uh, in every corner of the building. Look, I think some people, 
some people within come on some people within your side would probably agree with that um, I want to thank um, I want to thank all uh, MP staff on all sides um, we've worked very well together uh, we work well behind the scenes to make sure that things work obviously to my team my colleagues um, and all of my staff and most importantly I want to give a big shout out to my family who and, I, and the families of everybody here who allow us to do this work Buon Natale. Senator Mackenzie. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Well, on behalf of the Nationals, it gives me great pleasure at the end of this year to rise and just put a few remarks uh, on the record. Look, it has been a huge year, and I think the commentary from the leadership teams uh, really sums it up. Any election year is tough, but I think, given um, how close it was running in, uh, it really has been a huge year, and our chambers passed some great legislation that benefits the Australian people, everything from income tax cuts to farm household allowance and the future drought fund. So we've done some great work uh, in this chamber and there's more to do. I'd like to thank my deputy leader, um, Matt Canavan, for his intellect, his policy insights, his um, frank and fearless advice and his friendship. Um, we've got a great team that we lead together and um, it's a great joy to work with him. Uh, and I know we're going to do more for next year. To Clark Richard and your team, um, thank you for the support that you not only give Matt and I, but our brand new Senate team. Uh, I know that everybody, your team and also um, the entire Senate um, staff, has been incredibly supportive and welcoming for our new senators because we've had a complete turnover. And I know that is the same of senators right around the chamber um, have been supporting our new team. Um, I just wanted to guess, I, I say, have yourself a very Merry Christmas and on behalf of Regional Australia, um, take the opportunity to buy something from the bush, maybe spend some time out in the bush, um, meeting our people and uh, supporting their local economies. Enjoy as much sustainably produced and harvested Australian seafood and fresh produce, not just at Christmas time but for the whole summer, and support our farmers. Uh, rest and rejuvenate uh, so that together we can continue to be ready to serve our country in this place in 2020. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Senators, if I could take the opportunity to make some comments from the chair at this time of year um, and acknowledge a few people and thank them. I'd like to start by thanking my Deputy President, Sue Lyons, um, who doesn't always wear the hat into the chamber. but um, Maybe it'll start a tradition. Um, as a presiding officer on this side of the building, we have, one has to have a different relationship with all senators, but also with your deputies. So thank you for your support um, and working so constructively through the course of the year. I, I want to particularly thank, and I think it's appropriate from the chair, to thank the staff of the Senate. Um, as Senator Wong outlined, um, they have a unique role because of the unique role of this place, and I've referred to them before as the custodians of the, of the tradition of what is the prime legislative chamber in this country where everyone gets a voice and ideas are thrashed out and no result is certain, as we found out recently. Um, uh, it, it's always up for debate and we could not do our jobs without them. Um, we could not um, fight for the beliefs that we have without the support they provide us, often with an extraordinarily short notice and with a degree of expertise across a range of policy areas that is unprecedented across the Commonwealth. So, Richard, to you and all your team, my deepest appreciation. I know I speak on behalf of senators. Um, I, I want to specifically thank the committee staff, whose workload has really shot up in my decade here. Um, they undertake an extraordinary amount of work processing information, feeding it to senators and enabling those committee reports to be lucid, um, often under very short time frames. And I think it is worth specially acknowledging them because, again, the breadth of knowledge they have because of the way they work across so many policy areas uh, is really unique in anywhere I've seen in the Commonwealth Government. Um, and their work is extraordinary and helps all of us. Um, to the chamber attendants, led by John, I've mentioned before, I have a special relationship because my mother-in-law worked in this building and the old building as a chamber attendant. Um, and you know, you silently float around at all hours of the day and night, cleaning up after us, making sure it's set up again in the morning uh, and, and watering us on those long nights. So thank you for everything that you do. Um, I want to thank a few groups within DPS in particular. Firstly, the cleaners, um, they work the strangest hours, no matter how strange our hours are, they start earlier and finish later. Um, and, and those little things that we can sometimes take for granted um, that make our time away from home on the long hours in this building that little bit more comfortable. 
and that leads me to people who I think are never thanked and who have had a challenging year. And I can't think of the time that anyone ever calls an IT help desk just to say everything's working. <laughs> um, we only call them when we're under stress, when a printer might not work as we're running into the chamber for a speech. They do guard very sensitive and private information. We had a discussion about privilege earlier today. I would like to thank and acknowledge them for a very difficult year and doing a lot of work that respects both our privacy, privilege, but also in what is a more challenging environment than existed a decade ago, and particularly to a group of people that I don't get thanked because we do tend to call them uh, at stressful moments. Um, to Hansard, who have to suffer through listening everything, every time, everything we say twice as they transcribe it, um, thank you for your work. Uh, and of course to the Library, the Parliamentary Budget Office, and the, again, the, the unsung work that enables us to come in here. I, I particularly want to thank everyone involved with parliamentary security. Again, this is an environment that has evolved quite rapidly, uh, and there has been the occasional incident this year that has been tougher than normal. It is a more difficult environment and job than it was when a lot of them started work here. And I particularly want to acknowledge um, the work that the new Commissioner of the AFP, Rhys Kershaw, has undertaken with the Speaker and myself over the last few weeks to make these last few weeks um, easier. To all senators and staff, I'd like to personally thank you, um, not only for placing your confidence in me and for the kind things you occasionally say about me, including today, but also because you know, I don't rule with authority, I rule by consent. That is the difference between the House and the Senate. Uh, I know I have to earn and keep your trust, uh, and I do appreciate the fact that you cut me some slack because I'm human and I make a mistake, uh, but also the dignity in which uh, you all undertake your work and the fact that I can approach all of you, but particularly party leaders, uh, about issues we try and manage before they become bigger issues. But I want to particularly wish a Merry Christmas and thank the new senators who have come for the first time. Um, it's been a large intake, one of the largest we've ever had. Um, and it may seem like a long time ago to those of us that have been here one year, five years or ten years, but the new blood that comes in with new ideas, the passion and in, in, indeed the optimism of being here for the first time I think has changed the place um, our, on both sides across the chamber. And I'd particularly like to wish you all the best for Christmas um, and for you and your families who are embarking on this long journey. To all other senators, this year didn't start that well. We had a few particularly troubling issues that did not do well for the dignity of the chamber. Um, and I would like to thank all the senators um, that, over, particularly since the election, I think we have ensured that that has been elevated to its traditional place, occasionally in very tense moments. And finally, um, to our families, um, to my own specifically, uh, but particularly to all of our families um, who basically deal with all the brickbats and bouquets in a much harder way than we do. Um, they're the ones stuck at home sometimes seeing things said about their loved ones without the opportunity to respond or the adrenaline rush that the response can allow in this place. Um, so I wish you all, our families, staff, uh, thank everyone for their work and wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Senator Corbyn. Uh, <coughs> Mr President, uh, just with the indulgence of the Chamber, uh, may I also, on behalf of Liberal and National Senators, associate myself uh, with the remarks by uh, Senator Wong uh, and congratulate you on another uh, fantastic year and a stellar performance uh, presiding over our uh, meetings and get-togethers as we resolve issues and sometimes uh, very robustly uh, you have, as always. Uh, uh, managed uh, the affairs of this chamber with uh, great aplomb and uh, like the light touch uh, when it's appropriate and the firm hand when that is required. So uh, best wishes and a very Merry Christmas to you and your family on behalf of all of us and we look forward to serving uh, with you uh, next year. Thank you. I think that's it. I have received messages from the House of Representatives forwarding the following bills for concurrence. Agricultural and Veterinary Chemicals Legislation Amendment, Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Med Medicines Authority Board and Other Improvements Bill 2019. Australian Sports Anti-Doping Authority Amendment Enhancing Australia's Anti-Doping Capability Bill 2019. Australian Sports Anti-Doping Authority Amendment Sport Integrity Australia Bill 2019 and Fair Work Registered Organisations Amendment Ensuring Integrity No. 2 Bill 2019. Minister. These bills are being introduced together after debate on the motion for the second reading has been adjourned. I shall move a motion to have the bills listed separately. I move that these bills may proceed without formalities be taken together and now be read a first time. The question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. Contrary, no, the ayes have it. Clark. 
Agricultural and Veterinary Chemicals Legislation Amendment, Australian Pesticides and Veterinary Medicines Authority Board and Other Improvements Bill 2019, Australian Sports Anti-Doping Authority Amendment, Sports Integrity Australia Bill 2019, Sports Anti-Doping Authority Amendment Enhancing Australia's Anti-Doping Capability Bill 2019 and Fair Work Registered Organisations Amendment Ensuring Integrity No. 2 Bill 2019. Minister. I move that these bills now be read a second time and I seek leave to have the second reading speeches incorporated into Hansard. Leave is granted. Leave is granted. Senator Rustin. Oh, in accordance with Standing Order 111, further consideration of these bills is now adjourned to 4 February 2020. Senator Rustin. I move that these bills be listed separately as separate orders of the day. I have received a message from the House of Representatives informing the Senate that the House has agreed to the Counterterrorism Legislation Amendment 2019 Measures No. 1 Bill without amendment. Now we'll go if there's nothing else. Uh, there are. Committee memberships. I have received a letter requesting changes in the membership of committees. Senator Rustin. I seek leave to move a motion to vary the membership of committees. Is leave granted. Leave is granted. Senator Rustin. I move that Senators be discharged and appointed two committees as set out in the document available in the chamber and listed on the dynamic red. The question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Senator Smith. Thank you, Mr President. I present additional information in the government response listed at item 15 of today's order of business and seek leave to move a motion in relation to the documents. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Senator Smith. I move that the Senate take note of the documents and seek leave to continue my remarks. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Senator Smith. Uh, I also present additional information received by the Foreign Affairs, Defence and Trade Legislation Committee relating to estimates. And finally, I present the government's response. Sorry, don't. That's not quite me. <laughs> so, Senator <that's> Rustin. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I present the government's response to the report of the Rural and Regional Affairs and Transport References Committee on its inquiry into S Air Route Services delivery to rural, regional and remote communities and seek leave to have the document incorporated into Hansard. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Senator Henderson. Uh, thank you, Mr President. On behalf of the Parliamentary Joint Committee on Human Rights, I present the sixth report of 2019 Human Rights Scrutiny Report and I seek leave to move a motion relating to the report. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Senator Henderson. I move that the Senate take note of the report and seek leave to continue my remarks. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Senator McCarthy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Acting. Mr President. I seek leave to present a delegation report. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Senator McCarthy. I present the report of the Australian Parliamentary Delegation to the Commonwealth Parliamentary Delegation to Uganda and to Qatar, which took place from the 22nd of September to the 1st of October 2019. I seek leave to move a motion to take note of the document. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. I move that the Senate take note of the document and seek leave to continue my remarks. Is leave granted? Leave is granted. Do we now go to the next meeting of the Senate? Senator, unless there's anything else, Senator Rustin. I move that the Senate at the rising adjourn till Tuesday, the 4th of February 2020, at midday, or such time as may be fixed by the President, or in the event of the President being unavailable by the Deputy President, and that the time of meeting so determined shall be notified to each Senator, and leave of absence be granted to every member of the Senate from the end of the sitting today to the day on which the Senate next meets. The question is that motion be agreed to. Those of that opinion say aye. The contrary, no. The ayes have it. Unless there is any other matter, I will move to the adjournment. Give nothing. The question is that the Senate do now adjourn. In that basis, the Senate will next. No, oh, the Senate will next meet on the 4th of February at 12 noon. Merry Christmas.